Yes guys, the situation is pretty bad right now in Chiang Mai. And it's crazy because one of the top doctors in Thailand just announced that if you are in Chiang Mai, you literally have a higher chance of dying. This graph shows the incidence of heart failure. The north part of Thailand, there's a peak of this hospitalization around February and March. Savadi Cup guys from Chiang Mai, Thailand. I came here in the north just to check out the situation and spend a few days because Chiang Mai is one of my favorite cities in Thailand. And yes, the situation, it's really bad right now. And as you can see, the number one is Chiang Mai. Usually right here, you are able to see the city of Chiang Mai and now you cannot see anything. And they're not clouds, it's not fog, but it's pure pollution. In today's video, I will show you how is Chiang Mai right now now in April 2023 we'll just go around explore the city hang out see what's going on see if there are tourists around we will also go and rent the scooter and we will also go and check in in a nice condo in Chiang Mai they say it's one of the best condos in Chiang Mai and I'm really curious to check it out so I will bring you with me and we will also talk about this big problem of the pollution because it's a it's a massive problem right now so sit back relax and enjoy this video First thing guys, let's go and check in in the condo. It's called the Astra Condo. It's one of the most popular and one of the most beautiful. Let's go there and uh, check it out together. And then we'll start the exploration of Chiang Mai. All right guys, here we made it to my condo. It's called Astra. Let's check it out. So my room is on the 10th floor, A1020. Wow, I have a huge terrace here right in front of the door nice this is the shangri-la hotel right next door all right and that's a good looking condo you have the kitchen right here fridge and then here the living room and here the bedroom so let's check out the bedroom first wow it looks really nice oh here you have the bathroom you can see inside with the glass so here you basically you have one toilet here you have another with the shower and the bathtub balcony over there and this is the living room so you have a little table here with a chair this little door here that separates the kitchen from the living room and here the little living room <laughs> it's very tiny yeah very small but uh, very cute and this is the view we are on the 10th floor, pollution view. Let's check out the balcony here. And here they put this for the birds, I guess. For this one I paid, it's called the Astra Condo by Ping. I pay 1,448 baht per night. I'll put the link down below if you want to check it out. The location is really good because it's on the Changlan Road. In the evening, you can just walk to the night bazaar, which is super near, so it's a, it's a very good location. But the best part should be upstairs because there is a rooftop swimming pool. This is the gym, super nice. All right, before we go out, let's talk quickly about the air pollution problem here in Chiang Mai, because it's becoming a big, big problem. So what is the problem? Starting from late February, March, in the Northern Thailand, farmers are starting to burn farm waste and also forest all around the mountains. They have been doing this for decades or centuries probably for their own production and cultivation, but not only in Thailand, also in Myanmar, in Laos, and in many different areas in Southeast Asia. As a consequence of burning this forest, the burn moves all around and also comes to Chiang Mai and the air quality in Chiang Mai and in different cities in northern Thailand gets really really bad. Many people during the month of March, April, May they escape northern Thailand and they run away in other areas and as a consequence places like Chiang Mai, Chiang Rai, Pai are losing a lot of people, a lot of tourists and they're losing billions of baht each year. But the main concern is not about the money but it's about the health because so many people in northern Thailand die and they get sick due to the air quality and the pollution. Watch and listen what one of the top doctors in Thailand just announced a few days ago. This is Dr. Ransvit Kanjanat Banit, very well known in Chiang Mai, one of the first people to raise the alarm on the health effects of air pollution. There is a 6% increase in total mortality. There's a correlation between hospitalization of heart failure in Thailand, especially in the northern part of Thailand and the level 2.5. 6% of all deaths in Thailand are attributed to air pollution. <gasps> wow. This is just death, we're not talking about sick, being sick. 
this is just the tip of the iceberg. And unlike like tsunami or earthquake where you know we just see the effects right away, nobody write in the death certificate that they died from 2.5. And in addition to that, what is really crazy is that Chiang Mai in the past few weeks has been announced the most polluted city in the world, which is insane. All right, guys, let's try to see most polluted city in the world. This is the most popular website, IQ Air, which ranks the quality everywhere in the world. We click on it. And as you can see, the number one is Chiang Mai. And this is for today, 8th of April, 2023 at 10.44 a.m. It's 275. And the second place is Delhi, India with 184. Then Lahore, Pakistan, Kathmandu, Nepal, Dhaka, Bangladesh. That's crazy, man. And it's scary, you know? And if we scroll down, let's see Bangkok, for example, Milano, Italy, 29. Bangkok is number 42 with 65, which is pretty good, to be honest. And uh, Chiang Mai is 275. And as you can see here, it says very unhealthy. All right, enough talking. Let's go out and explore Chiang Mai so you can see with your own eyes how is the situation now during the burning season. But first, in order to show you around, I need to rent a scooter. So let's rent a scooter and then we'll explore around. 250 for the Honda Click. Also this... 250. 250. I need 200. 200 baht per day. Yeah. So this time in Chiang Mai, I rented the scooter from Charlie Motorbike Rental. I've been using them for a few years actually. They have one of the best prices in Chiang Mai. The guy is super cool, he's from uh, the Netherlands and they're like good quality scooter, good prices. You don't need to leave the passport, he's super flexible. You just give them like a 1000 baht uh, deposit and that's it. And it's right in the center here of uh, Chiang Mai. So I highly recommend them. I'll put the location down below and then not only the rental shop, they also have this nice uh, restaurant and cafe and I guess also like a guest house looks really nice as you can see and i just ordered like a a fresh mango shake no sugar and a little bit ice mm. so this is my scooter for this chiang mai stays i didn't rent a motorbike because the pollution is so bad i would not need to go in the mountains or to take some road trip i just need to hang out in the city cruise around so the honda click is perfect it's a 125 cc and i paid 250 baht per day from uh, cheap charlie in the center of chiang mai all right guys the check-in at the astra condo is done i rented the scooter let me bring you up to doi sutep and show you the view which would be pretty much nothing but just to give you an idea of how bad is the pollution right now in uh, chiang mai and up there we'll also continue the conversation this is the CMU University one of my favorite places in Chiang Mai to come usually here it's packed with the people with students people just hanging out and as you can see right now it's extremely quiet nobody's here let's have a quick walk up here to the lake this is crazy so quiet and so much pollution <laughs> This is really crazy. You know guys, here you should be able to see Doi Sutep. It's super near from this lake. It's just right on top of it and you cannot even see anything. It's really, really thick, this pollution this year. All right, let's go up to Doi Sutep now. As you can see guys, Songkran is coming soon and all these shops, they sell water guns everywhere. So this is Sadi Cup. So this is one of the most popular viewpoint here in Chiang Mai. Usually during the high season it's back with tourists. And as you can see right now, I'm the only one. And man, look at this view. Wow. Amazing. <laughs> Unbelievable. Look how pretty is Chiang Mai in April 2023. <laughs> wow, this is crazy. I can literally feel my eyes like burning and I also have a hard time to breathe. Man, from this viewpoint, usually you have an amazing view of the entire city of Chiang Mai. And now it feels like you're on the clouds, but it's just all pollution. Here they got some food, corn, strawberry, eggs, chicken, pork. 
And the more you go north, like uh, Mai Hong Song, Pai, Chiang Rai, it gets way, way worse than Chiang Mai. The level of pollution goes up to 300, 400. That's why now it's not a good time to come to visit Chiang Mai and Northern Thailand because most of the activities that you will do, it's actually in the mountains. You have a lot of excursion, a lot of trekking, elephant activities. Like 80% of the activities in the north are actually in the mountains and the mountains are the most polluted area in the north right now, so better to avoid. I don't know if you know about it, but I lived in Chiang Mai for one year in 2017, and I was here during this time as well, April, Songkran, and let me tell you, man, that in 2017, it wasn't so bad. Yes, starting from March, you had pollution, uh, the sky will get white, but from the city you could still see Doi Sutep, while right now you cannot see the mountains at all, like zero. Actually, every year got worse and worse and worse, and now, I mean, look at this. All right, I think it's enough Doi Sutep for me. My eyes are really like starting to burn and my throat also is struggling, so I'll just make a U-turn and go back to the city. But you got an idea of the mountains in Chiang Mai right now. Be careful riding in Chiang Mai, guys, because there are always police checks. Usually they are around the old city and also on the way to Doi Sutep. They will check the helmet, of course, but most importantly, they will check the driving license. And if you don't have the right driving license, they will give you a fine. So, luckily, I have a Thai license, so I don't think it was okay. Yeah, it's crazy, guys, because I was right here in this specific place few months ago maybe three or four months ago and it was a totally different background it was like a blue sky very nice color bright sun now it's definitely different i'm kind of hungry i would love to find like a good cow soy the typical northern thailand chiang mai dish so let's see if we can find it around they stopped me again they stopped me already two times Yeah, thank you. And this is the second time in like a less than a kilometer. That's crazy. Yeah. Oh. If I'm not mistaken, I came here a few years ago with a friend of mine and the cow soy was really good. You have cow soy? Cow soy, oh, cow soy is next door. Ah, next door. Uh, okay. okay, I confused. Yeah. yeah, it's next door. I confused the restaurant. The next door is like the proper cow soy place in Chiang Mai. Yeah, this is the one. This is the proper, authentic cow soy restaurant. And it's all in Thai, nothing in English. It's a very big restaurant and they also have the seat right on the river, right there. So I ordered the classic uh, cow soy, which is egg noodle in chicken curry, cow soy kai. The small one 30 baht, the big one 50 baht. So cheap, man. Man, it arrived extremely quickly. So this is the original cow soy with chicken. I got some also something, some some purple drink and water for this beautiful view. really good the cow soy was delicious even though you might need to eat two if you're hungry because the portion is a little bit small and in this restaurant i was the only foreigners it's a very local restaurant so all the thai people come here which is a sign that the place is really authentic and really good uh, already three times today Guys, this is insane. This is the third time within one hour that they stopped me and checked the driving license. A little bit too much. Alright guys, the sun is setting here in Chiang Mai and even with this pollution, walking around these incredible temples is always a magical experience in Chiang Mai. I'm in love with this city, it feels like I'm at home every time I'm here. And yeah, even now that it's the most polluted city in the world, I still love to come to Chiang Mai. <laughs>
But let's not get confused because Chiang Mai, even now, it's full of tourists and especially at night, it's very, very busy. Of course, it's not as busy as a few months ago during the high season because many tourists, they know that they should avoid March and April. So there are not as many tourists as before, but there are still a lot of people around. Let me show you a little bit. And then right now we are in the Saturday market area and this area it's super busy. You can see a lot of tourists around, shopping, buying food, enjoying the amazing Thai street food. Here we are passing through the famous Tapa Gate. We end up in the Night Bazaar area, which as I said earlier, is walking distance from the Astra condominium. This is a bit more quiet because I think most of the people, they are going to the Saturday market, but also this area is coming back to life. And that's it for this video, guys. Even though it's super polluted, I still love to come to Chiang Mai because it's probably one of my favorite cities in Thailand, if not my favorite city. I have so many memories here and when I want to like relax, calm down and feel at home, I love to come to Chiang Mai. It really gives you like a homey feeling. Regarding the pollution, if you are here, make sure to wear a mask. Try to stay indoor as much as possible, ideally in places that have the air purifier. And I hope that the government will do something about it in the next few months and years. As I said, this is not only a Thailand issue, but different countries are involved. So Thailand, Myanmar, Laos, China, they really have to talk and find an agreement to fix this pollution problem. And I really hope in the coming years the situation will get better thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed this little tour of chiang mai in april 2023 i'll see you in the next video in bangkok bye bye